So last week we made a video on some of the best Apple TV games that I played last month. And most of them felt rather smooth and intuitive with the Apple TV remote. And I was surprised, so I looked into how good the Apple TV remote in itself is. We found some of the coolest tips and tricks that it could do, and here are a few of them. Well, there's more. These are the only ones that we found interesting. The fourth generation Apple TV supports Bluetooth headphones, which is great for some late night TV if you've got flatmates or kids around. To pair your headphones, just make sure they're in pairing mode first, and then go to settings, remotes and devices, click the headphones with which you want it paired. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now here's a quick way to switch your Apple TV's audio output to a Bluetooth device or other devices. Hold down the pause or play button on the Apple TV remote and in the menu that comes up, simply select the device that you want to link with by clicking on the remote's touchpad. When typing in Apple TV, if you ever make a mistake, you'd have to swipe all the way to the far right of the screen to select backspace key. But turns out there's a better way to do it. Simply by tapping on the Apple TV's remote touch surface and holding it down to get a character overlay that would appear. And a quick left swipe will automatically delete the last letter you've entered in the input field. Here's another one that comes in handy while typing in your password. You can avoid the switching between lower and upcase layouts simply by just pressing the pause and play button on your Apple TV remote. This instantly switches the letters from lowercase to uppercase and vice versa. If you're troubleshooting your Apple TV and need to restart it, going through the settings screen to select restart is a bit of a reach around. Well, here's a quicker way to do it. Simply by holding down the home and menu button simultaneously for six seconds, you can just restart your Apple TV. Just like the previous one, you can always go into your settings menu and put your Apple TV in sleep mode that way. But it's even easier to just click and hold the home button until the sleep now confirmation pops up. Just hit OK there to send your Apple TV to sleep. With the recent tvOS 12 update, Apple TV will get some new screensavers from NASA. Apple TV's screensaver would toggle automatically if it's left idle for a few minutes, but you can activate it manually by just double clicking the menu button while you're on the home screen. It's a trifling feature, but something to keep in mind if you want to use it on a rare occasion. The Apple TV has an app switcher similar to what iOS has on the iPhone and iPad. You can activate it by double clicking the home button on the Apple TV remote. Once activated, you can use the trackpad to swipe between apps. To force quit an app, navigate to it and then swipe up. Clicking the right and left edges of trackpad skips a video forward or backward by 10 second increments. You can also scrub through a video quickly in order to get a specific spot. Simply pause the video and then swipe in either direction of the trackpad to scrub forward or backward. Just like on your iPad and iPhone, Apple TV lets you rearrange apps how you see fit. Just hover over the app you want to move and then click and hold down on the trackpad. The app will begin to wiggle and from there you can swipe on the trackpad to move it where you want to. While in this mode, you can also click on the pause and play button to bring up more options for the selected app, such as deleting it or moving it into a specific folder. The delete option comes in real handy when I'm in the middle of downloading a big game and if I want to delete this one. Like with these tips and tricks, Apple TV is just way more user friendly than any of the streaming device we've used so far. So we made a few videos on Apple TV and its coolness, so give them a watch. I'm not an Apple fanboy, but this one is pretty darn cool. Subscribe if you like our content. That would make me content. I could make a hard art joke, but this is YouTube we're talking about.